Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I'm going to answer a question that was put to me. I have a question for you. I heard you say constantly that Java is mainly used in big companies and corporations while PHP is used in small business and freelancing. But can you explain why this is? What makes big companies want to build their programs in Java instead of PHP? Is there something that Java can do that PHP can't? I'm paraphrasing the last bit. So let me just give you the quick answer. It comes down to two things. Number one, Java had built into it very early on capabilities that big companies are looking for. This has to do with security. It has to do with the way uh, the language infrastructure can handle all kinds of different types of transactions that larger corporations are going to be interested in. I'm trying to avoid jargon because there's no point. Whereas PHP, its legacy was the opposite. It was a hacked out scripting language. It was loosey goosey. It was designed to be really easy for non-programmers to put up simple things. And that legacy stuck to it for quite a while. It took many years for the PHP community to decide to step up to make PHP enterprise or big business ready. That's a huge part of it. Now, for example, PHP, up until PHP 5, PHP 1, 2, 3, 4, wasn't object-oriented. PHP 4 had some object-oriented capabilities built into it, but it wasn't fully OO. And uh, it wasn't until PHP 5 that did PHP become fully object-oriented. And also PHP had some things built into it which made it a security risk back in the day. There were some really big holes that people could exploit. Whereas Java was far more locked down, far more robust of a language. But not only that, the Java environment around it, all the uh, Java uh, servers, et cetera, et cetera, were built for security and had other capabilities built into it, again, that large corporations were looking for. PHP just, just didn't have it. Now, at some point, I think with PHP 5, uh, the Zen Corporation, which backs PHP, started pushing that and... And, in, and indeed, PHP 7 is very, very capable language and could be used very, by very large corporations. I don't think many do, with the exception of maybe Facebook or something. And uh, yeah, even that with Facebook, they had to come up with their own version of PHP to satisfy their particular needs. Now, why the other big reasons why large corporations didn't go with Java, didn't go with PHP and went with Java, not just Java, Java.net is the other major player, is because behind Java and behind .NET are major corporations that could support it. Big corporations will not risk developing a piece of software or implementing a piece of software unless it's backed by pretty big companies, something they can lean on. You see, people who go work for large corporations, they don't they don't want to take any risk. That's why they're working for large businesses. They don't like risk. And if they were to contract with some small company that's using PHP and something goes wrong, their heads will be on the chopping block. They're going to be in trouble. But of course, on the other hand, if they implement something that IBM puts out in Java, or Microsoft puts out in .NET, and it fails, they go, hey, I'm using the biggest, I'm using the biggest. So they're not, they're not put in any risk. So large corporations utilize Java and .NET because A, Java from the get-go has a legacy of providing the tool sets and the capabilities that larger corporations look for. PHP didn't have that. And because Java and .NET are backed by huge corporations that people can lean on just in case something happens. PHP, on the other hand, is used by small business because it's easy. It was easy to learn, easy to hack out stuff, and it just did the job. You see, small businesses, they don't want to spend, and they don't have the huge money to spend on building something that you would build in Java or .NET. Now, these are general generalities. I didn't even say that right, but you get the idea. There's always exceptions. But at the end of the day, you can produce something in PHP far more easily with much less code than you can with Java or .NET. There's no, no question about that. And that's the appeal of PHP for small business owners. Also, with WordPress, and WordPress is a huge player. I think something like 80% of small businesses use WordPress in some form or another. And that's a PHP-based web application. 
So that puts a lot of PHP into the uh, into the small business arena. Just WordPress alone is a significant reason for that. To give you an idea about how hyper productive PHP can be versus Java, go let's go back to my own career way back in the day, back in the 90s, where I was pretty much a Java zealot. Everything I thought, Java is a great language. I love Java. I did everything in Java. And I remember I went in to see a client as a freelancer, and they had a PHP-based system that they wanted to expand upon. So I was saying, no, you should just do it in Java. You should do it in Java. And they go, no, 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 no. We've invested in PHP, and we don't want to do Java because we don't want some stuff in PHP. We don't want stuff in Java. And, and that's a reasonable argument. So I was forced, kicking and screaming, to write it in PHP. Now, this is old school PHP. It's like PHP 3, maybe, which didn't have any of the capability of PHP 7 has. It was, it was you know, it, it was very primitive language relative to Java. Anyhow, so I said, whatever. So I learned PHP a couple of days later. I'm building this thing in PHP. And uh, it opened my eyes to the possibilities of light, nimble scripting languages, which is one of the uh, appeals of Python, one of the appeals of JavaScript, one of the appeals at one point of Ruby. The idea that you have a programming language that is just very light and nimble and allows you to write a lot less code to get something done. Now, it's arguable that you're limited in terms of what you can do relative to Java, but for most people, 99% of the time, all you need is one of these scripting languages. For 99% of projects in the web space, PHP, JavaScript, uh, Python, and, and Ruby will do it. You know, you don't need necessarily go to Java or .NET. Anyhow, so I'm doing this project, and I remember I told one of my friends and uh, another Java developer friend of mine, and uh, he was like, wow, my, what are you doing? You're working in PHP. What are you doing, Steph? It's terrible. And I said, listen, the client wanted it. This is what the client wanted. This is what they pay. This is what they get. But I said, you know what? And there's something about this PHP, even though it stinks. Here's the thing. I'll give you an example. Back in those days, I was writing Java servlets, JSPs at the time. And uh, if you don't know what that is, it's just it's Java's web layer, if you will. Anyhow. To send an email with Java at the time took about five, six hundred lines of code. And to send an email with PHP took one line of code, just one line of code. So I said to him, and, and that was consistent, where it took far less code to get something done in PHP than it took doing it in Java. So it wasn't a safe, it didn't have the same level of sophistication, it didn't have the same level of air trapping, but you can hack out something real quickly. And if you put in, you had minimal best coding practices, you you can make it pretty secure. There's certain, but that was, the, that was the fault of PHP in the past. It allowed you to do stuff that was inherently insecure. It allowed you to do things that made it easy to get something up, but the cost of that ease of use was security holes. Now, that's no longer the case. Let me just say it again. It's no longer the case in PHP 5 and especially PHP 7. I... I would say Ruby, PHP, Python, JavaScript, Java, C Sharp, .NET, they're neck and neck in terms of sophistication these days. Some areas, Python's a bit better. Some areas, Java a bit better. Some areas, PHP a bit better. Some areas, Ruby is not so good. I'm just joking. Anyway, um, so yeah, so it was it was an eye-opening thing for, to me. I say, you know, yeah, uh, PHP has got its problems, but I can write something in PHP in 1,000 lines of code versus 20,000 lines of code in Java. No exaggeration. And so there's some merit to that, right? Especially if you have a small business and you got limited resources, limited money, you know, would you rather spend two grand developing something or spend 40, 50 grand developing something? You know what I mean? Yes, the Java one would be more solid and secure. The PHP one would be less at the time. That's, again, these days, PHP is super solid. I'm talking about at the time. So, you know, Here's a business rule. When you're starting out any new business, any SaaS, you want to get the product out as quickly as possible because you don't know you don't know if it's going to work or not, and you don't know how it's going to work in the end. So, for example, Studio Web. When we put out Studio Web, the prototype, it's about seven years ago now. I had an idea, I had my ideas of what it was going to be, so I put together, this is what it's got to do, bing, boom, boom, bang. But then when we got it out there in the real world and school started jumping on board and so forth, we had to change a lot of its functionality. 
I would say um, a good 60%, maybe more, had to be changed. Not not 60 A good 40% had to be changed over time. And so seven years later, after many iterations and patches and changes, and you know, uh, which is normal for any new product that comes out, you're going to have to be nimble and be willing to change based on what the market tells you. Only after this time, we're... With the Studio Web 4, which is out now in beta, we've had to do a total rewrite from scratch. Total rewrite from scratch, but now it's rock solid code uh, based on the fact that we actually know the use case really, really well. So we can write things super solid. Whereas before, it was about just getting it out there, getting in the hands of people. And don't get me wrong, it was fairly solid, but there was some real rotten code in there, partly because we had several developers involved in the project over time. So you, it's the way software goes. You know, even Mac OS, Mac OS. At one point, when they hit Mac OS 9, Steve Jobs said, you know, we got to, we got to start over because they were just basically extending the lifespan of the old Mac OS, which was written at a time when computers were a certain way. And to be able to, to meet the demands going forward, they knew that they had to, Apple knew that they had to, they had to redesign from scratch to account for the changes in things. And same thing with Studio Web 4. I've had to, uh, you know, use, using brand new ARMs, brand new frameworks, different, uh, uh, different database structure, et cetera, et cetera, based on what we need to do today. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. So to summarize, big corporations use Java and .NET, a, primarily, in my opinion, is because big companies back these technologies, and B, because these technologies have a history, have a legacy of having supported capabilities that big corporations require. And they don't go to PHP because PHP has this reputation of being this crazy, dirty, unsafe language. It used to be. It's not anymore. And small businesses use PHP because it was super approachable, easy to jump on, and quick to write things. And small businesses, they got to save money and they have to be quick. The advantage of the small business is that they're quick and nimble and they can turn on a dime and pivot, whereas big corporation takes years and years for them to switch because of culture and infrastructure. Anyway, I hope that's uh, useful to you. Ciao.